ladies and gentlemen, to an all-new reaction and review. Tonight, guys, we're checking out a horror film from 2015. That movie is Violent Shit the Movie. Now, I know some of you are looking at that, and you're thinking, Emmer, that sounds real familiar. Didn't you already cover Violent Shit? And the answer is yes, I did do the original Violent Shit. In fact, it was... My second episode! So, here we are, episode 602. It's been 600 episodes, and apparently last, or well, two years ago, rather, uh, in fucking Italy, they did a, I'm going to assume a remake? I, I really don't know, guys, if this thing's a remake or a sequel or a reboot, or I don't know what it is. I know it's something to do with violent shit. Now, for those of you who uh, haven't seen my, my review of the original violent shit, violent shit was a terrible German gore film with no fucking plot to speak of, Acting that was piss poor, gore, gore that was laughable. Just it was, it was just a terrible movie all the way, all the way around. And at and at the time, it was one of the stupidest things I had ever seen. Six hundred episodes of reaction and review have totally changed that. I have seen far stupider, but violent shit still stands out as a movie that was exceptionally and profoundly bad when I watched it. And then I heard that there was this remake or reboot or sequel, or reimagining, or whatever the fuck the stupid thing is supposed to be. I don't fucking know. And my first thought was, there's no way it can be bad as the original violent shit. As long as this thing has a fucking plot, it's all it's already better than the original violent shit. I also know that when it comes to making horror movies, Italians are usually better at it than Germans are. So the fact that this is, so the fact that this is an Italian... I'm just going to assume remake of the original violent shit, it may actually benefit from that because the country it's coming from is known for making horror films that are at least marginally decent. So I have hopes. After all, there's no way this thing can possibly be worse than the original violent shit. The only way this thing could be worse than the original violent shit is if my laptop randomly catches fire while fucking watching the goddamn thing. Please, dear God, do not let my laptop randomly catch fire while I'm watching this fucking thing. That'd be a horrible way for my new laptop to fucking go out. Anyway, guys, I have no idea if this thing is any good at all. I have no idea if it's a remake, a prequel, a reboot, a sequel, or whatever the fuck. Uh, I have no idea. I know nothing at this point. I'm just hoping for it to be at least watchable. And the only way I'm going to find out is if I shut up and I push play. And I'm going to do that right now. So, without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out Violent Shit the Movie. Well, guys, I am going to say one thing. The opening was kind of laughably stupid, but this music that's playing over the opening credits is fucking awesome. The best part about this is that the, is that the copy of the movie that was sent in came with the soundtrack. Which means I have this awesome song on CD. It's fucking awesome, dude. Fuck yes. So yeah, the movie, the movie's so far it's sort of it's sort of laughable, but shit, at least the soundtrack's fucking awesome. So yeah, hell yeah. All right, guys, I'd like to say right now that the dub in this movie is laughably bad. It actually is almost charming. Allow me to explain. So. So first of all, the, movies, the movie was obviously shot in English, and uh, they had to dub it in order to get rid of all the accents, all the real thick accents, so that way you can understand it. I, I've seen that happen in movies before. The problem is, A, the acting in the dub is overblown to the point of being absolutely hilarious, and it just barely misses matching up, matching up with the actors' mouths. So the whole thing looks like it's just slightly out of out of fucking sync. And it just sort of throws me off a little bit. It just looks really, really weird. I'm going to have to get, you know, used to it. But I'm gonna tell you right now that the acting in this dub is so bad it's actually kind of sort of charming. And it makes this actually kind of fucking decent. I swear to god, guys, the shit that happens in this movie is so fucking hilarious. I just, we just had two cops who walked in on a crime scene with a corpse that was just chopped up and strewn everywhere. Instead of trying to take care of that or trying to call another officer to try to, you know, clean up the crime scene, pick up any evidence, they 
find a clue that directly ties into the case which they're on, and they just say, screw this, let's just fucking close the fucking door and walk away, because we have our case to handle. <laughs> that is so awesome. Top guys, I swear that honestly, that honestly, something which makes this almost decent is the fact that the writing is so charmingly stupid that you just can't help but fucking laugh. It would be kind of nice if we had a little bit more, uh, more of a plot because this movie's got like four or five different like threads, but they haven't tugged any of them enough to actually be a main plot. Uh, but hey, hopefully, maybe all these will come you know together within the next like forty minutes. I kind of doubt it. But that would certainly be nice. You know, guys, I would really love to make sense out of all of this. So, we've got all of the characters who we've been following. For wow, that dude had a, like, split tongue. That looked really creepy. Anyway, you know, we have all the characters who we've been following all in the same place. Uh... A whole lot of them are dead. Uh, there's a fucking orgy going on for reasons I haven't fully understood. This orgy literally like came out of came out of left left fucking field. Just a whole lot of this guy just doesn't make a lick of sense. It's just sleazy, trashy shit. But you know what? This whole movie's been sleazy, trashy shit. It's been kind of fun. So. I'm sort of hoping that this at least sort of ends on a goofy kind of fun note, but I'm just going to have to watch and find out, I guess. Well, guys, that was violent shit the movie. God, what the fuck did I just see? Let me just shut that off. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around that fucking ending. Um... Okay, uh, wow. So, um, let's talk about violent shit the movie, huh? Um, so, the big question I had, uh, going into this was, is violent shit the movie better than the original violent shit? And, on that note, I will say yes. A thousand times yes. This, this movie is still stupid as fuck, and it's still complete garbage, but... It's at least better than the original violent shit, what little that honestly says. Let's dive into that a little bit. One of the biggest problems with the original violent shit was that it didn't have a fucking plot. It had nothing. It had Carl, who at the time was known as K the Butcher Shitter. Apparently, between that film and this one, they changed his name to Carl the Butcher, which seems a little bit more tasteful, let's be honest. But Carl the Butcher, um, in the original film, like, just kills people in the woods in Germany. And he finds Christ in the woods and crawls into Christ's chest cavity for some reason and nothing makes a lick of sense. There's no story to speak of and the writing is atrocious. This thing is the polar opposite of that. This actually is trying to tell a story. Um, actually, it feels like it's trying to tell about five different stories. And they barely fucking connect at the very end. Uh, so we have these cops who are trying to figure out who's killing all these people in fucking in fucking Rome. Um, they believe that it is Carl 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 the Butcher, uh, who traveled from Germany to Italy for reasons that are never fully explained. There's this old guy who apparently wants Carl's mask because it belonged to Attila the Hun, uh, or. Maybe it was Attila the Hun's brother. The story was kind of fucked up. There's this other guy who's a politician but is also a serial killer and is leaving other bodies around that nobody seems to care about because our two main cops are focused on the Carl, Carl the Butcher killings and they don't give a fuck about the ones that the politicians leave in line around. So, you know, we have that going on. Um, it all kind of comes together. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spoil a few things. So... Carl is being controlled by the old guy who wanted the mask. Uh, oh yeah, there's also this like weird like black black clawed like demon hand with a fucking ring, which may or may not belong to the old guy. It's kind of implied that it might be his arm, or that it might be like I guess the spirit of fucking Attila the Hun traveling with the mask. I don't fucking know. There are moments where it looks like it's coming from the old guy. There's moments where it's like pulling away at like tree fucking branches while the old guy is elsewhere. 
Uh, so anyway, the old guy like throws a, throws a fucking party, and the politician shows up, and a bunch of other people show up, and there's this big orgy, and you find out that all of them are cannibals, and the cops are outside, and Carl kills both of them as if as if they're fucking nothing, chops them up, and they're serving them to the guests. And then the old guy sicks Carl on everybody and kills all of them, and then Carl dies, and now there's a new Carl, and the old guy's training him, and that's the best I can get, guys, for a plot summary. I just gave you the entire ending. I didn't, I didn't cut shit, okay? It's like Carl the Butcher's running around wiping out people, and then the next morning he gets his head chopped off because the old guy's assistant has a fucking, like, King Arthur-style sword and lops off his head, and then they take the mask and then they put it in a box, and then some fat guy is wearing a mask is killing somebody else, and the old guy's looking on and clapping and laughing. That's literally the last thing you see is the old guy going, ah, ha, 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 ha,
during the fucking orgy, like, you have all these people, like, moaning and groaning, and certain one, and cer certain actors are really, really, like, getting into it. It sounds kind of odd. And then there, and then there's, like, one in there going, oh, 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 it sounds so fake. <laughs> So it's so terrible, and it just makes the whole thing fucking funny. Guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, with the borderline lack of plot, the horribly written dialogue, the absolutely horrendous dub, it makes this whole thing hilariously funny, and god damn it, I am going to praise it for that. I, I'm going to assume this thing wasn't supposed to be a comedy. But this is probably one of the most... This is probably one of the funniest un, unintentional comedies I have ever seen. I've heard people say that The Room is the funniest unintentional comedy they have ever seen. The Room is painful to sit through. This thing's actually entertaining to watch. So, yeah, I liked this thing, and I haven't even covered the rest of the movie yet. Just, I'm, I'm just going to put it this way, guys. The... the now the writing is fucking is fucking dog shit and bless it for being dog shit cuz it's a charming kind of shit that you just look at and you go, "Well, that's certainly a thing." And you're going to have a smile on your face almost the whole time you're you're fucking watching it. And the dub is so horrible that it just kind of sort of complements the terrible writing. And it makes the whole thing almost charming. Add to it the soundtrack. I have to stress this. So, when this was sent to me, it was sent on Blu-ray, I opted to watch the DVD, but one of the features that was in here is the original soundtrack. This is probably the greatest goddamn thing I've ever gotten out of anything from Reaction and Review that was not the movie itself. Because, guys, the soundtrack to this thing is fucking amazing. I loved it. Now, mind you, the soundtrack is done by Goblin. Goblin has done... So many movies. They have they have done the soundtrack, they, or rather, they've been featured in the soundtracks to so many Italian horror horror films, and their music is almost always great. The fact that this thing is entirely Goblin music that is fucking awesome. There is one track on here, and it plays over both the opening credits and the uh, massacre during the. Um, I guess we can just call, I guess we can just use the movie's term, finale. Uh, I would love to use that for my YouTube series. I'm going to have to get a hold of Goblin, see if I can get, like, licensing rights on that fucking song, because I really want to use it on this channel for something. It's that awesome. The soundtrack here is amazing, and it is by far the best thing this whole fucking movie has. I'm so happy that I have the fucking soundtrack, because I loved every piece of music I heard. It was that fucking good. Um, let's see, sound mix is pretty decent. S special effects, let's, let's fucking talk about, let's fucking talk about the gore a little bit. Um, the gore is leaps and bounds better than what was in the original vi violent shit. Again, that isn't saying much, because... The, because the original violent violent shit wasn't even able wasn't even able to get the color of blood fucking right, but goddamn it, at least this thing we have really fascinating gore. Is it good? No, but it's passable. And <laughs> frankly, guys, having cheesy sort of passable gore on top of all the other problems, it really does make this thing even even more of just a charming car wreck to fucking watch. So, as much as I should dump on special effects for being kind of cheap, I can't. Because it just fits. Everything else with, which this movie has, it just fits the like general tone so well. Um, our sound mix is fine. Like I said, our lighting here is good. Camera work. Uh, if there is, if there is any problem which this movie has in terms of camera work, it's that almost every shot is too fucking close. And what I mean is, guys, is rather than have the camera a reasonable distance away, like, let's just, like, okay, like, let's just use, like, this shot, for instance. You guys are watching this, and the camera's a reasonable distance, and you can see me, you can see most of my fucking, you know, chest, you can see a nice, you can see a nice bit of the background. I want you now to imagine every shot is about yay close. It's very, very un, it's very uncomfortably close, if not closer, okay? It looks awful. The camera could have been pulled back about a foot in every single shot, and it would probably have looked better. And frankly, I don't want it to look better. I want shitty... 
I want shitty amateur camera work to go with everything else here because it just makes the whole thing even better. Guys, it's not often that I find a movie which is so riddled, riddled with issues, that it just comes out just charming as fuck. So can I recommend Violent Shit the Movie? If you love cheesy bullshit movies, yes. This thing is one of the dumbest horror movies you will ever see, and god damn it, it is going to have you laughing from start to finish. It's cheesy, it's almost plotless, it's stupid as shit, but god damn it, everything here is done so badly that it's almost likable. And that's something I was not expecting. Guys, I was honest to God expecting to go into this thing and completely destroy this fucking movie because of how much I hated the original violent shit. And then this thing had the fucking balls to actually be kind of funny and likable and god damn it, yes, I'm going to kind of recommend this thing. But I have but I have to stress, I can only recommend it if you're into cheesy ass movies with just tons and tons of gore and titties and almost nothing else. If you're really into just bad movies and you just love to laugh at just absolute garbage movies, this thing is going to be perfect for you. If you seriously are looking for plot and structure and a serious horror film, fuck no. This thing this thing's never going to meet any of those expectations. But what is here? What is here is laughably bad and that is certainly more than I was honestly expecting. Is this thing going to stay in my in my Blu-ray collection? Fuck yes. I actually am going to I I I could totally see myself in like 6 months sitting down going, "You know what?" I totally want to watch violent fucking shit again. I never thought that that sentence would ever pass through my mind, but that is probably going to happen here. And that soundtrack is so awesome, I am never getting rid of that fucking CD. Unless I unless I just like rip unless I rip all of the tracks and I loan it out to somebody. But even then, this fucking CD is probably never going to leave my fucking house. I love this thing. I love the soundtrack to this movie. Now, violent shit came off the Amazon wish list. The person who sent it in was the Warlock. You can find his website at warlockmoviereviews.wordpress.com. Please, guys, swing over there, check out everything he has. Warlock, dude, I thank you. I, honest to God was not expecting this thing to have any kind of merit at all. I honestly thought this movie was going to be just garbage from start to finish. And I'm not talking about laughable, ha-ha, I could totally see myself watching it again. I was expecting it to be violent shit levels of bad. And it's not. This thing once more proves that in the great war between Italy and Germany, in terms of who makes horror movies better... Italy once more stands fucking tall by making a movie that, well, it's not scary, it really isn't horror, but goddammit, it's corny and it's funny as shit because of, because of all of its failings. And that totally works out. And I would not have known that if you hadn't have sent it in. And for that, dude, I thank you. You're fucking awesome and you're doubly awesome because the thing came with the fucking soundtrack. I am so happy about that. Once more, guys, that is warlockmoviereviews.wordpress.com. Go over there and check out everything that he has. Oh my god, this was so much fun. I was not expecting it to be this much fun. Makes me almost wish I watched I watched the fucking thing on, on Blu-ray. Yeah, guys, this thing here is a DVD, Blu-ray, CD combo pack. I honestly thought it was going to be so fucking terrible, I didn't even bother throwing in the Blu-ray. I threw in the fucking DVD instead. So... Now I have a reason to watch it again. I can watch all of the cheesiness in high def. I'm certainly not going to do that today, but perhaps maybe the next time I, I watch this, say in like six months or so, I'll totally throw in the fucking Blu-ray and I will laugh my ass off all over again. Yes. Anyway, guys, with that, we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.